It's easy to look at the state of the world, the moral, spiritual, and intellectual decline, and become discouraged. Everything seems to be getting darker. All of the systems of the world are becoming more anti-Christ, and many of the people are being given over to demonic deception. They're losing their minds, their collective grip on reality. In these times, it's tempting to throw up our hands, look to the heavens and say, the evil is inevitable. There's nothing we can do. Yes, Jesus told us that in the last days, perilous times would come. But he never said that in the last days, the gospel would lose its power. Whether or not these are the last days, I am certain that today is somebody's last day. And that is enough to cause me to preach the gospel with urgency. We must rise and tell the world. We must declare the finished work of the cross, the cleansing power of the blood, and the destructive power of sin. We must warn the wicked, and we must boldly call for repentance. It's a good thing to edify the body, but who will rise and win the lost? We have enough conferences. We have enough e-courses. We have enough church events and self-congratulatory pageantry. But what about the preaching of the cross? Whatever happened to the message of salvation? Church, it's time to get back to the simple message of salvation through Jesus Christ. There are many problems in this world, but there is only one real solution. The answer is the same as it has always been. Jesus is the answer for the world today. We mustn't get distracted by the many causes that call for us to rally. Feed the hungry, yes, but what good does it do to feed a man today who goes to hell tomorrow? Feed the hungry, care for the poor, stand up for the weak, rescue the abused, do good. But while you're doing good, remember that without preaching the gospel message, the clear and simple truth, all of our efforts will be only of temporary impact. Want to make a real difference? Then don't just change lives, change eternities. God is looking for someone who will boldly call for repentance from sin, for someone who will declare that Jesus is the only way. The gospel message is this, God is holy, man is sinful, Jesus alone is sufficient, salvation is free, and consequences are eternal. Jesus will give you his eternal life in exchange for your temporary one. I know our message isn't popular, but it's powerful. I know our message isn't trendy, but it's truth. And yes, our message is offensive to some, but it is the only message that truly saves. Our message is the most important message to have ever been declared. In presenting the truth of the gospel, offending people is not our goal, but neither should it be our deterrent. I'd rather offend someone into heaven than comfort them into hell. People aren't turned off to the gospel because of the truth within the gospel. That's just an excuse. People are turned off to the gospel because they love darkness rather than light. So preacher, if people can continue to love your message while also still living in sin, it's time to start preaching the gospel. Believer, preach the truth of the gospel. Preach salvation, preach Jesus. There is no other message and there is so little time. Preach the gospel to everyone. I'm David Deager Hernandez, and that is your moment of truth. For more free content like this, sign up to my emailing list by going to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.